Hello church family and welcome to another weekly update and I've got some very big news for you today. But first, before we do that, a couple of things to do. First of all, what we read on Sunday, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, follow God's example therefore as dearly loved children. We are children together, adopted by our heavenly father in Jesus and we're a family and God has kept us a family, hasn't he? For these 16 weeks, we're still going on as God's family. And I pray that we'll continue to do that, whatever may come and exciting things are coming. More of that in a second. Here's the second thing. Things happening this week that you really need to know about. One of them is that the church is open for private prayer again on Wednesday lunch times between 12 and two. Do come along, check out the church building, pray, be there just as a welcoming presence for other people to come in, why don't you? That's this Wednesday. And this Saturday is our social, our summer social for the church family. Please do come along and be an encourager and be encouraged. We're gonna have a bit more time to chat together kind of thing uh, on this social. Uh, Pascaline sent some details out of something that you could uh, wear maybe, don't have to, uh, or and or something that you could send in. And the deadline for that is this Thursday at six o'clock in the evening. Please do send some bits in. Uh, it would be a real encouragement to the whole church family. All right, the big news though that you've been waiting for is that praise God, we will be opening up the church building for Sunday services from this Sunday, the 12th of July. How exciting is that? Praise the Lord. Um, the PCC um, are, are really happy for us to be doing this and we're going for it this Sunday. Now there's lots of information that I need to share with you now and there's no other way of doing it but to go through it step by step. So stand by, here we go. The first thing to say is that um, we'll all need to book to attend a service uh, at Grace Church Cowley uh, for the time being. We'll need to book via the website. That's because our capacity of our building is only around 23 and we want to have a few spaces for people who are kind of passing by and might, might come in, want to reserve those spaces. That means that the rest of us, all the church family, the regular people will need to book in and because of that, we're asking you please just to book in once per calendar month, once in July, once in August, once in September. Now it might be that we are able to open up other spaces um, as we see how things pan out, but we'll let you know as that happens. Please book in for every single person who's attending, whether they're an adult or whether they are a child. If you're not able to attend because you're not going this particular Sunday, then I'd love to encourage you, if you feel able, to maybe watch the live stream together with another household. If you feel like that is something you could do, then please do that. We'll still be live streaming that service. The live streaming audience actually will still be the main sort of congregation for now um, because that'll be the, the, where the most numbers are still. So you'll be in the majority. The second thing to say is the nature of the services themselves. For now, there'll be no singing according to the government's regulations. Um, uh, we will still be having music played and we'll be listening to that. So in a sense, you'll be at an advantage at home because you'll be able to sing. There'll be no refreshments, no tea or coffee due to government regulations too, but the toilets will be available, you'll be pleased to know. The service will be live streamed, uh, and so if you're at home, you'll be involved in it just as much as if you're in the building, and we'll still have contributions from people in their homes to still keep that connection to people who are still at home. There'll be a service of the Lord's Supper after every single 10.30 service for now, so that if you're only coming once a month, you still get to share the Lord's Supper once a month. Now that'll just be the bread only in one kind, they call it, uh, not the wine. There will be wine there, but only as a sort of visual aid. Uh, you'll be taking the bread and I'll be distributing the bread. No one else will touch it apart from me uh, with sanitized hands and uh, and I'll not be speaking over the uh, bread either. It'll be covered whenever I'm actually speaking. So that's what the service is gonna look like. Now, for those who are not at the 10.30 service, we'll be trialing an extra four o'clock in the afternoon Lord's Supper. Uh, you can come along to that without booking for now. We'll see how that goes. And if we need to kind of hang around outside uh, and do two sittings or something, we will, uh, but we'll see how that goes. That's the services then. 
The next thing I need to tell you is what will be on many of our minds, which is children. What do we do about the children? Well, children are very welcome to come to the 10.30 service. There won't be any groups provided for children yet, but we hope there will be in time. We really do want to start up children's groups again. For now, we'll provide some colouring that they might be able to do during the service that sort of links to what the, the talk is about. The creche room will still be available upstairs and the baby feeding room as well. They won't be manned and there won't be any toys that can be shared or anything like that, but they're available. Parents will be responsible for their children during the service and responsible for social distancing. But we know, of course, that with children, social distancing is never quite perfect. and. And as a church family, we're going to have to bear with that and understand that and accept that if we're coming along to the service, social distancing will be as good as we can make it, but might not be totally perfect. Parents will do their best. And because of that, we're going to provide once a month an adult only service so that those who come who are vulnerable and need to ensure total social distancing can be assured of it on that one Sunday of the month. That's going to be the first Sunday of the month. So please, if you're bringing children, uh, please don't book for that first Sunday of the month. For now, we will review that and change that if it turns out that that provision is not necessary. I think the final thing to say is uh, about hygiene and how that's going to work and just a few pointers towards that. Um, all seats will be two metres apart for social distancing. Uh, we'll have to hand sanitise on the way in. Face masks are entirely optional. You're very welcome to wear one if you wish to. We'll be recording contact details in case the government need, need to do any track and tracing. Um, we should know many of people's contact details, but if we don't know yours, we'll be asking you for them. And then we'll need to make a prompt exit at the end of the church service. Now, this is a real sadness, I know, that we can't sort of hang around together after church like we used to. We certainly can't drink coffee, but the government really encourage us not to hang around and socialise as a church family after the service. And that's for obvious hygiene reasons. So I'd love to suggest to you that please, you might consider um, hooking up with another household to, to share coffee with after the service, not in the church building, but somewhere else where, where numbers can be more, more, more managed. There may be other questions and if there are, please feel free to contact me. Uh, there's quite a lot to think about, I know. You're very welcome now to book, uh, book ahead for the services that you'd like to attend. And we really, really look forward to seeing you I think we need to pray, so let's pray. Our Father God in heaven, thank you so much for your provision. Thank you so much we can open up this coming Sunday for services. Father, please, Lord, please help us to remain being this family that we have been so far. Please would we bear with each other. Please would we love each other as dearly loved children. Father God, please help us to be patient with each other. We pray, Father, we'd build each other up and that we'd welcome others in. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing most of you by the live stream on Sunday and some of you in person. Thanks for joining me and God bless.